Hello and welcome to highlights of Game 3 in the Tri-Nation series featuring India, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Today's action from the Sher Bangla Stadium in Dhaka was between the two sides that are still searching for a win in the competition. Yes, a crucial match for both teams with Sri Lanka setting the early pace in the competition with only two more group games after this one. Defeat today, well that would make qualification for Wednesday's final pretty tough. At Bangladesh, they won the toss. Surprisingly, given the due problems that have plagued sides fielding second in this competition, they chose to bat first. They made one change to the side that lost to Sri Lanka, with Saeed Russell replacing Shafiul Islam. India have named the same 11 that lost to Sri Lanka on Tuesday. So on the same pitch that was used in Game 1, it was Bangladesh to bat first. Here's highlights of their innings. Ian Gould today. 40th one-day international for him. Two men catching as uh, the men in slips. They're about to get underway. And I'm all hot. We are going for today. Again, starting well. A little bit of swing for Nera. Well, what a beauty to get first up. Starting around the off stump and then moving away, moving late after pitching. Squares up the batsman, just tells you how late that moment was. Ashish Nehra does pull that uh, away going delivery to the left hander brilliantly. The sloppy work, should have fielded that, he can't complain. But Bangladesh won't mind it. First runs on the board and Tamim Iqbal gets off the mark with that four. He's looking for the big shots straight away. As two slips in position, he's got to be cautious. Yes, again a good line uh, bowled uh, by uh, Sri Sant. Inviting the drive. Yes, he's got two slips in position, so he's quite confident that uh, with a little bit of late movement, he might be able to get his man. That's a beauty. So he started really well, Srishant. Went for a few boundaries in the last match, but not today. Yes, he's got a very good line and very good length at the moment. Maybe just a little bit uh, closer to the left-handers off. Some might actually get him results at the moment. Three times the ball has gone past the outside edge. Yes, 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 yes. Dhoni can't get there. Again, the surprise shot delivery. But Nera bowls pretty well. Yes, he does, because he mixes it up very well. That's not uh, something that he uses every over. It's the occasional uh, delivery that he slips in, particularly when he thinks the batsman's uh, getting a little bit fidgety and looking to maybe go down the pitch to him. Uh, caught him ruled by a surprise. He's gone for the big one. Does it have enough to go all the way? Yes, it does. Maximum. That's 15 for none. Well, there you are. It's cost this team six runs. So the no balls really have to be watched out for by the bowlers. Ashish Nehra, no balls did cost a bit. In the previous game against Sri Lanka, this time it's cost six runs. That's gone through and before. It's a quick outfield. Tamim Iqbal in full flow. A 
against shot and paying the penalty. So back to back boundaries. This one's in the air, it's got to be taken. And it's put down. Harbhajan Singh called for it. And it was a straightforward catch, put down. It's 29 for none. Well, it went high up in the air. This is Imrul Kais trying to play the uh, pull shot. He got out playing that against Sri Lanka. And uh, Harbhajan saying, oh. The rest of the team is not going to help him forget it. Be very disappointed, Harbhajan Singh. Straightforward catch put down. Over the top, four more. He's starting to score very freely. Oh, this is a lovely shot. More runs, it's gone fine. Will be another four. Been a lot of boundaries in the last four overs. It's gone through. Big appeal. Did that carry? Obviously, there was a noise as the ball passed the bat. Dhoni's still wondering. Well, there certainly seemed to be um, some sort of a sound when the ball went past. What the umpire seems to be suggesting is that it might have uh, gone off uh, the batsman's body. I think the flap of the pad more likely. Getting the charge. No holding back. Four. Swept and swept hard and well for four. Flicked away on the onside for four. Fine leg up in the circle in a catching position. Picked away on the onside. There is a man in the deep, but he can't get there. So the boundaries continue to flow. Again gets it on the onside. This is a brilliant 50. Superb innings. It's come in quick time of just 33 balls. And it's the fastest 50 for Bangladesh against India. There's Arbhajan. And cut to the offside. Another boundary. So spin, pace coming alike to him. Punched on the onside, pass it on. This will race away to the boundary. Second, pulled, unable to clear mid-wicket. And a breakthrough for India. And a big wicket this because Tami Mikbal had set the stadium on fire with uh, a terrific uh, display of shot making. 60 of 42. And he goes in this fashion. Just when I said that he doesn't really need to go over the top all the time. He puts one straight into the hands of uh, Gautam Gambhir. Big wicket. And it's a Shrishant who's uh, picked up Tamim Iqbal. Gone for 60. Bangladesh 80 for 1. Yep. Nice 
nicely bowled and uh, well adjusted. Extremely well adjusted. This shows how quick this outfield is. Just whips it away and that's going to be four runs because he's played it pretty fine. The ball drifting down the leg side and uh, the batsman say thank you very much. Swept that away and it's going uh, fine and for four runs. Very good shot this uh, by uh, Ashafi. That's a good shot. Pulled away. Four. Really good stuff. <laughs> Listen to the crowd. That's the 50 for Imrul Kais. His first one in one day internationals. Yeah, and a very good one. Oh, yeah! He's bowled in! Loose shot from Mohamed Ashraful. This is what we've been guilty of over the years. Getting off to a start and then getting out. He's gone for 29 and India have finally broken through. Just look at the faces in the crowd. Shock, disbelief. After watching them bat it so well. And once again, it's Mohamed Ashrafal who gives up his wicket. Just trying to play it a late and uh, missing it. Big wicket. Such a good batting wicket. Uh, missing out one more time. He knows it. A bit too late now. Mohamed Ashrafal will... Gone for 29, Bol Jadeja, Bangladesh, 148 for 2. Takib Al Hassan wants to direct it. This is going to be tight. Zair Khan, the fielder in the deep, was quick onto the ball. This is not a big ground and a direct hit. Shakib Al Hassan, what has he done? Is he safe? This looks tight, really tight. Direct hits are uh, dangerous. Can't see from that angle. Is he out? Oh, yeah, the boil has to be dislodged. Oh, online. That line belongs to the umpire. You need to have some part of the bat crossing that line. He's definitely gone from this angle. In fact, he shot at the crease. Well shot at the crease from this angle. And that is conclusive enough for me. It's got to be out. Still waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's gone. He's a dangerous player and what a way to get out. The last thing you want to be dismissed in this fashion. Inside out. <laughs> it's gone the distance. It looked as if he hadn't quite timed it. Oh, that's uh, gone past Dhoni. He got his gloves to it. We'll have to wait for the Empire signal. Don't think there'll be a signal because he's got some glove on it. So tough chance here for Dhoni. Yes, with the angle, just got the glove to it. Uh, Dhoni moved, got his outstretched hand to it, but just didn't stick. That's a good hit. Very good hit. That came out of nowhere from uh, Rocky Bull. Length ball is parked it over long on for six. Oh. 
again up in the air and uh, taken in the deep so the trick working for Ashish Nehra by bowling short having two men in the deep Virat Kohli is not the one uh, to miss out on uh, too many and just when we were saying Imrul Kayas it's important that he stays till the end he's been dismissed again a good height uh, to bowl the bouncer around the shoulder height he didn't get hold of it ball uh, stayed in there for a long while and Ashish Nehra he's done what uh, India wanted at the moment short one to Kaias who's gone for a well-made 70 and Bangladesh now 188 for four taken straight to Jadeja he doesn't miss many Yuvraj Singh not conceding the boundary is getting in a lot of dot delivery has created the pressure the ball was sliced was in the air and easily taken well things falling apart here just like trying to make room for himself Mushfiq Rahim and giving the easiest of uh, catches to Ravinder Jadeja he's not uh, very happy himself but uh, the catcher definitely is because with that catch India have come back strongly into this game Mushfiq Rahim goes for six Bangladesh 206 for five It's in the air, long off. Harbhajan has completely misjudged it. He should have taken it very easily. It's not been his day and they pick up three. Should have been an easy catch. And he's messed it up completely. Oh! Hold him. The finger went up, but it's obviously hit the pad and then hit the stumps as well there was a definite sound of talk and that's what you see no bails there reverse sweep attempted and it's gone wrong that's a poor shot what closer to his uh, fit look at that he thought it uh... <laughs> well done Ian Gold <laughs> that's a good change it uh, went straight back touched his hat and then said you're out anyway he's gone for 32 238 for six. Well, he's uh, taken that. That's gone. To a boundary. This is uh, Mahmoudullah Riyad. And brings up the 250 for Bangladesh. made it count this over with two boundaries to end it 12 of the over 254 for six <laughs> pulls it over square leg and into the boundary can got hold of that one nicely very well executed extremely well executed it was as if he was waiting for it Two eighty one for six and swings it away on the onside and it's gone through to the boundaries a good start to the over Shishnera was the man diving away. A very good half century here for Mamadullah Riyad. It's come of just 40 balls and a timely innings this. Goes again. He's targeting that area. Successive boundary. This is good batting. Offside. Excellent batting this. Three boundaries of three balls. Last ball of the innings. Close for the single. And Bangladesh will end their 50 overs on a very good score. 296 for six. That's after Saki Bulhasal, the captain, won the toss, decided to bat first. Uh, he will be uh, mighty pleased uh, with this effort. Mamadullah Riyad has played his part. 
excellent innings, 60 from 45. And uh, his innings has been instrumental for uh, Bangladesh reaching close to this uh, score of 300. Bangladesh's highest ever score against the test playing nation vindicated Shakib Al Hassan's surprising decision to bat first. He owed a large debt of thanks to the explosive knocks of Tami Iqbal at the start of the innings and Mahmoudullah at the close. Imral Kaya's first ever one day international 50 that held them together through the middle overs. It was a mixed bag though from the Indian bowlers with only the control of Yuvraj Singh's tidy spell in the middle overs keeping Bangladesh below the 300 mark. And as a mark of how they're struggling to find death bowlers, Mahendra Singh Dhoni used six bowlers in the final 10 overs. So on a pitch where 280 was thought to be par, India were asked to chase 297 to win the match and record their first victory in this Tri-Nations series. Should be four. The man in the deep is very, very square. You can see there is a little bit of dew. The outfield was much quicker in the afternoon. A little slower now. Very nicely played by Gambir. Just uh, getting onto the back foot. Obviously worked out where the field is. Knew that he was uh, very square. And he played it fine. Made sure that he flicked the wrist to play it fine. And we are off uh, to a good start with the boundary. Boy, Rice, great area, that's it. Good boy, good hit. Short and wide. Come, Rice, come on, Rice. Gets Rash. the treatment it deserves. You don't bowl there to Verenda Sebag. Yes, he's just lost it uh, beside Russell. Very wide outside the off stump. There's no cover in the deep. And it's uh, just an easy pick for Virendra Sehwag. Another boundary for him. Nobody at third man. So back to back boundaries. And he's on his way. That's an area that uh, he pierces, gets runs so regularly off the new ball. And you just can't afford to bowl without a fielder in the deep there. Seven. This field. A direct hit was the bat in the air. I think the bat might have been in the air. It was a misfield and they say never run of a misfield. Sebag decides he'll not wait. The crowd starts to celebrate and it's a huge moment in this match. India needed Virendra Sebag to fire. And he's taking the walk back. More than anything else, uh, he didn't seem to have grounded his bat. Took it a little easy, not expecting uh, Razak to retrieve that so quickly. Got to the ball after he misfielded and then fired the throw in. And Sewag comes and just plonks his bat in. Look at the bat. It's in the air. It's in the air still. The bat's in the air. Decision uh, is pending. But uh, Sewag has gone away and he's out. No doubt about that. He's... Uh, Almost uh, in the dressing room. Gone for 13. Oh, could be tight. Would have been gone. Another direct hit. Rasak again brought into the action. This time he was feeling at mid off. And uh, Kohli taking off. No sooner he played the shot, but. She was a long way away. Rasak had time to aim, throw at the stumps. No question about it. Had it hit the stumps, he would have been gone. 
That's all. That should give Virat Kohli a lot of confidence. Just a little bit of width. And he was onto it in a flash. That was well played. Got a stride down the track. Spending that uh, back knee to make sure the ball got close enough to him when he made contact. Four more. That's his area of strength for Gautam Gambhir. Square of the wicket on the offside. It was a poor delivery again from Razak. Second boundary of the over, this time he's pulled it down short, nowhere near the area he should be bowling. His line should be middle, middle and leg, but he's uh, pulled it down short and outside the off stump. Gambir uh, won't uh, miss an opportunity like that. Another boundary. Very good hit. It was more of hand-eye coordination than anything else. Never moved his leg. But the bat flow was excellent. Absolutely, the bat came down at the correct time. Realizing that there is no fielder down there in the deep. So the captain making adjustments, but uh, this over hasn't been a good one from Razak. He's pulled it down short, pulled outside the off stump. He's got his fielder more on leg side. Good cricket from Kohli, just a single to end the over. It's 46 for one. Ball down inside edge, back onto the stumps. Now yeah, these are two big wickets for uh, Bangladesh. Both the openers dismissed. Have a look at the crowd, they're on their feet. The vocal crowds being exercised because uh, this is what happened. The party scenes out there. India now in a spot of bother. 49 for 2 as Gambhir has to depart. He goes for 18. his defense and tickle the offset what a blow this is uh, for India and the crowd cock a hoop as is the Bangladesh team it's Yuvrat Singh who has to depart it's a clean up job by Russell you've got to give the credit to the captain because he's just made the bowling change and wow straight away first delivery going out outside the part of the bat and hitting the stumps absolutely delighted brilliant stuff uh, from uh, Syed Russell he's gone for one India 51 for three nicely timed this will be forward It'll race across the outfield can a good opportunity for this young man he's uh, come of age in the last uh, month or so a couple of very good innings against the Sri Lankans third man cannot stop it uh, he'll be disappointed there Tami Mekbal but uh, they'll get the boundary India and a welcome one 68 for 3 after 12 feeling for that one half an appeal the wicketkeeper appealed and uh, the bowler thought that he might just give his partner a little bit of support no commitment in that but uh, definitely a moral victory for beating the bat yes I think just trying to run the ball down to third man yes opening the face of the bat and sometimes uh, batsmen do take a chance with that kind of a shot when uh, the wicketkeeper standing up because there's more chance of the the ball even if they nick it fine eluding the wicketkeeper Thinks about a run, decides not to, ends the 13th over. It's 72 for three.
Ellis might go to the boundary. Good effort. Did he save it? He will have to go to the uh, third umpire, but that's a terrific effort. Mahmoudullah Riyad, I think it was a tall guy. Yes, he has excelled in the field today. Sometimes you get a good day when uh, you're batting, bowling, fielding, and there you see that commitment. Wonderfully well done. Managed to save a couple of runs. And then picked up and thrown in. The easy single to end the 18th over. It's 94 for three. Almost a loose delivery. Couldn't take full toll of it. It's got a couple of runs though, and it's gone through for four runs. Well, well, well. That's not going to make the captain too happy. Abdul Razak, the culprit in this instance, had it covered, but well, that's it. Well, he had to go towards his wrong side, he's a left-hander, so he had to run towards his right. And although he made a valiant effort, I think it was just the fact that he wasn't able to get his hands to the ball. And there was a deflection. Not an easy uh, stop, that. Strokes that away nicely to take the ninth run of the over. Good over for India. It's 108 for three. Two is the call, four it is. Ken powerfully struck by Dhoni. The type of drive we see so often from Dhoni. A lot of use of the wrist. Really powerful use of the wrist. And the bottom hand. He got very close to it. And he did a better effort than that once he uh, reached the ball. Yeah, Bangladesh don't want is uh, to be complacent. As if this partnership carries on uh, till about 170, 180. Then the match will be in the balance. You would have to stay still at this stage. Bangladesh is on top. That's a good half century. Comes back for the second. And he's played well. He know his job uh, is not done as yet. Plenty of work still ahead. And it's been a good effort so far. That's in the air. But it's gone all the way into the gap. One bounce over the rope. Fifty for uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. It's 158 for three. Very well paced innings from uh, the Indian captain Dhoni. Not celebrating too much. He realizes he's got to carry on. Hit it really hard. What fielding! Absolutely fantastic! Well, before more, too easy for Kohli now. You will get the loose deliveries when the bowlers start to feel the pressure. Then the short delivery, this time put away by Virat Kohli. He's standing out simply because the loose ones are getting to the boundary in a hurry. No. 182 for three. These celebrities. We almost. Uh Hit it back to the uh, bowler. It's nicely tossed up by Sakib, inviting Dhoni to go for the drive. There it is, nicely tossed up. 
and Dhoni almost fell for it. Oh, was it a catch? Mm, was a catch. Sakip, what have you done? Virat Kohli seems to be having some problems. Is it a cramp? Well, he will get medical attention. It's 186 for three. Gautam Gambhir coming in to run for Virat Kohli. Seventy-seven for Virat Kohli. He's been cramping up. Be a single to end the over. One eighty-seven for three. It's gone fine, and we'll get to the fence. Boundary coming at the right time. 11 runs in this over so far. This is such a clever shot. We've seen Sachin Tendulkar play that. We've seen Mohamed Azaruddin play that. Rahul Dravid also plays that. Now Virat Kohli showing that he's picked it up from uh, his senior players. Out! He's got that wicket. Inducing the error. He's batting with a runner, Virat Kohli. And he didn't really stretch out to the pitch of the ball. Much needed from Bangladesh's point of view. And another twist in this game. The partnership broken. Kohli livid. And Saki Bozulasen will take this. You can see not quite to the pitch of the ball. Straightforward chance. He accepts it gleefully. The captain. Anguish for Virat Kohli. But it's been a fine hand from him. Misses out on 100 here. He limps off the field. Out for 91. And India now 203 for four. That's a very good shot. He split the field off the back foot. He's got power, Tony. Just seems so cool and assured really thrives in a situation like this I mentioned it earlier chips are down he's the right man for you he's got that temperament short delivery gets the treatment that's disappeared to the boundary of flash there's a loser a long hop and smashed away to the square leg boundary he won't miss out. He's been batting for a long time and if you pitch short and wide, he'll put you to the sword. Semi! Westfield can't afford that. He wants to keep Ryan on strike and he can't blame anyone but himself here. Nice placement. That's two. It's a thing now for India is uh, with the run rate required, you don't have to take a risk. You just got to get closer to that uh, Bangladesh score. Then you've got batting power play as well. Well, the run rate has come down under six. Uh, it's been uh, hovering at that 6.5, 6.4. At the moment, 5.91. So they're basically cruising along. That's in the air, but in the gap as well. Just reaching out for that Rhino and finding the gap and a boundary to end the over. 235 for four. Once again, the width offered, and uh, it, this time uh, Suresh Raina who puts it away. That's a good shot in the end, very good shot. He had to reach out. 
Just for a minute, uh, you thought he might have been deceived in the flight, but he put it away nicely once he got to the pitch of the ball. Went up ish. Just uh, out of the reach of the fielder in uh, cover. Four. Don't worry about that. Only really enjoyed it. Brings up the 50 partnership. Asking for a replacement uh, pair of gloves, uh, Suresh Raina. And one more 50 uh, partnership between these two. Well, amongst all the batsmen who have batted together in at least 25 innings, the Dhoni Raina partnership enjoys the highest average 74. He's been now uh, wavered tonight, Razak. A lot of deliveries onto the pads, too straight. Just being worked for runs. Anything by Wastom has gone to the fence as well. You don't want to see those yellow dots on your chart. Yes, yes, yes. Very well played. Played it late. Created the width. Dhoni wants three. That's fantastic running between the wickets. Yes, and I think he's doing the smart thing. He's run very, very far down the pitch. Well past the pitch. Beautifully done, opening the face of the bat. And Dhoni has done the smart thing. Look at the way he's gone for the third run. And there's still a ball to come, so he's now he knows uh, there is uh, no chance of a run out. He's running further up because by the time he comes back to the crease, he can regain a bit of his breath. Very smart thinking that by the Indian captain. Another delightful shot. No fuss about that. Just opening the face of the bat will be a boundary to end the over. 261 for four. Well, Razak really has been expensive. He's been leaking runs. Nine runs again in this over. Short, a little bit of width offered enough for the Indian captain to whack it but uh, I think the field placing also fielders are coming a little too inside from the 30 yard circle full toss asking for trouble and Raina gets the full face of the bat that's required boundary in this over for Raina to ease the pressure yes that will make him feel better. That will make uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni at the non-strikers then feel better. It's 30 now needed of uh, 37. Trying for the variety delivery at this stage with a wet ball. Not going to help. Whacked away by uh, Raina. Bowlers have got to try and keep it simple in, in these final overs. Gone for the big one, mid on inside the ring. So back to back boundaries to win the over 271 for four. Another fine over for India. Ten runs coming off this over. Shot delivery dealt well this time. It's into the stands, it's out of here. 288 for four. What a shot, much better this time. What do you call one bouncer for the over? A little silly on the bowler's part to be trying another one. Twelve runs in the last over. Nine required. 
Now this one came at a very good height. And Raina was able to swivel and just help it along. It's a very well executed shot. The kind of shot that gives a, a batsman a lot of confidence. Slides Russell back into the attack. Last over for him. gone fine it'll be four hundred for the Indian captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni you can see a sigh of relief on his face superb innings but it has been a captain's innings because he came into bat when India were in trouble three down for 50 he had to stick around he guided young Virat Kohli he had a very good partnership with him and now with another youngster he's uh, taking India to a win What an innings this has been from the Indian captain. Just five now needed for India to post a victory. Running straight to the fielder. Easy single taken in the end. Is 100 coming in very good time as well? Well, that uh, 100 came with a leg glance for a boundary, but otherwise. He's played most of his uh, shots on the offside. There have been singles when the ball has been driven to the onside. But otherwise, everything around uh, the offside. This is a terrific effort by the Indian captain. It deserves the applause. It's a match-winning innings. That's what you need. Match-winning performances. Raina now goes inside out. A victory for India. In the end, they win by four wickets. With more than two overs to spare. Raina also picks up his 50. 51 not out for Suresh Raina. Just 43 balls. Five fours and one six. And this partnership worth 94 to seal the match for India. After a terrible start from his openers, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, well, he gave a masterclass in finishing to guide his side home to what was, in the end, an easy victory. His seventh one-day international 100, well, that came up in what became the final over of the match before he handed over to Suresh Raina to bring up his 50 with the winning runs. The risk of batting first was always going to be that the Bangladeshi spinners would struggle in the dewy evening conditions. Sadly for Shakib Al Hassan, that proved to be the case as the ball skidded onto the bat with few alarms for the Indian batsman. So six wickets was the margin of victory for India and there was no surprise that the captain, well he was named man of the match for his brilliant ton. Another match to learn for for the Bangladeshis. Dhoni's mature, composed innings showing them how important it is that they go on to make three-figure scores when they've made a start. So a first victory for India that puts them into second place behind Sri Lanka. A final between the two of them looks pretty inevitable now, but uh, Bangladesh, they can still get there if they win tomorrow against table-topping Sri Lanka. All the remaining games in this competition have been brought forward by 30 minutes. That's in an attempt to negate the due factor. So we'll be with you live from 8 o'clock in the morning, right here on Sky Sports 2.